So from here on, um, we can talk a little bit about um, the ways of getting started. So I mentioned there's one of these tax returns that has to happen right away, a notification of uh, having an office that's going to pay salary. You want to get employment contracts in place. Um, some service providers can, can do this. Sometimes you can work with a lawyer to get your employment contracts in place, but you'll want good, solid, um, legally compliant employment contracts that are going to make it clear um, what the employment relationship is going to be like. Um, the social and labor insurance are statutory requirements, like I said. So those get registered with your initial payroll. The company gets registered in, um, an account is created, and then those first employees get registered in at the same time. And then work rules. Uh, once you get to 10 headcount, your company work rules have to be filed with a local labor office. So if you're going to get to 10 headcount relatively soon, it's actually a pretty good idea to try and get this drafted early so that any employees you hire are uh, de facto agreeing to these rules as a condition of employment rather than waiting and trying to negotiate on the work rules once you've already reached your 10 employees.